Mission Impossible 3 because we've been talking about leaders on set and Tom Cruise feels like the ultimate to me. So while you're on a big yeah. set like that with him, where not only is he number one on the call sheet, but he's also a producer on the movie. Right. What right. do you see him do on a set like that that makes you say, I'm going to put that in my back pocket. And when I'm leading my own action movie, I want to do that as well. You said it though. I mean, he, Tom's a leader. And again, when you work at people at his level, there is a reason they are where they are period. Like there's no question. So in terms of like, he's not my best friend. So I, I'm not talking about him personally, but I am talking about him as a professional on set. His enthusiasm never wavers. I've never seen it waver. I've never seen somebody who loved what they did more. And I've also never seen somebody who was so encouraging of those around him in the thing that he loves. So it's not something that you actually, um, see every day and I maybe for people they'll hear that and go well yeah he's one of the biggest movie stars in the world of course he loves it it's like that is not true <laughs> because there are big movie stars who don't love what they do or don't show that they love what they do and aren't as encouraging or, or great leaders the way he is and the other thing that he does that is that I felt was really important um, because I've been treated the opposite before was um He's incredibly inclusive. And so when I got on that film, I was, you know, the call sheet was this. And I was like, here, you know, I mean, I was working with some of the best people in the business and it was so exciting. They were so great. And I remember when the first day I got to set on Italy, in Italy, I was um, looking for my trailer and I couldn't find it. And I was like, uh, I went to the one of the PAs and I said, oh, I, I don't think I can't find my trailer. I'm like, <laughs> you know, and, and she's like, oh, oh, this is your trailer. And I'm like, oh, oh no, that's not my trailer. It's a mistake because I'm a very small fish and I, I have a very small trailer like in my contract. And she goes, no, 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 Maggie, th this is your trailer. I'm like, it it's definitely not my trailer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all my bags to hair and makeup and I'll start the process. And then once you find my trailer, I'll put my stuff in my trailer. So she was very confused and I was very confused. And then I went to hair and makeup and then later uh, uh, Tom's producing partner comes in and she says, Hey Maggie, I heard there was some confusion with your trailer. And I said, uh, Oh, there is, they, they have the wrong one for me. And I'm just like waiting for them to give me the right to it. And she said, no, I checked it. That's your trailer. And I was like, that's not possible. And she said, Oh no, Tom came yesterday to check it out and make sure that everything was a okay. And they had your contracted trailer in the base camp with all the rest of the trailers. And he said, absolutely not. You're getting rid of this and you're getting her the same trailer everyone else has because she's a part of this movie. And I don't want her coming to set feeling like she's less than it's not okay. And so I'm like, is this a joke? And I go in and it's like, got a staircase in it. And like another story and there's like a fireplace and I'm like, what is happening right now? So he, he went out of his way to make sure that as the, the lowest, I'll call it priority on the call sheet with all the names that I was working with on the movie, that I felt like I was included. And that to me is who he is as a professional. Mm -hmm.